Brooke and Michelle Obama's Martha's Vineyard estate seems to be right out of a storybook. While almost $12 million may sound like a high price to pay, this property is worth the hefty price tag. Here's a look inside. Barack and Michelle Obama's Martha's Vineyard estate is certainly dreamy. Martha's Vineyard is known for its beautiful homes and stunning beaches, so it's no wonder the Obamas wanted a home away from home on the island. And they didn't skimp either. The mansion they chose, located on Edgartown Great Pond, is enormous. The home boasts almost 7,000 square feet, seven bedrooms, eight and a half bathrooms, a private pool, and multiple living rooms, according to the real estate listing. And with 29 private acres consisting of perfect lawns, greenery, and beach, this estate has a little bit of everything. While almost $12 million may seem like a lot of money to pay for a vacation home, it seems the Obamas actually got a good deal on the mansion. According to Realtor, when the property was first listed in 2015, it was on the market for a whopping $22.5 million. However, after a generous price reduction, the estate was finally sold to the Obamas in 2019 for just $11.75 million. Barack and Michelle Obama's estate is the definition of elegance. A grand home needs grand features, so it's a good thing that the Obama's new vacation home has such a large, elegant wraparound staircase. While modern black railings may be all the rage in other celebrity homes, the Obamas chose a house with a more classic look. This staircase is lovely with medium tone wood on the treads, white railings, and a thick wooden handrail. This decadent staircase gives the entryway a sophisticated charm while still looking modern and fresh. Plus, views of this lovely staircase are a perfect way to welcome guests into the beautiful home. Maybe the Obamas will take their holiday photos lined up on the staircase Brady Bunch style. Or maybe they'll use it to make grand entrances for fabulous parties they could throw at their Martha's Vineyard home. Either way, this staircase is definitely a showstopper and was probably a big selling point for the former First Family. The Obamas' new estate is the perfect place for the former First Family to spend the long summer months. Sooner or later, the Obamas can probably expect some high-profile guests, and it was likely important that their Martha's Vineyard estate had a formal living room where they could entertain their visitors. The living room in the gorgeous home features modern architecture, just like much of the house, with wood beams that come down from the ceiling for a grand statement. However, this room also has a bit of a medieval flair. With tall ceilings, warm up lighting on the walls, and a grand stone fireplace, this space looks positively regal. It's not clear if the Obamas decided to keep the unique style of the interior or if they purchased it with intent to redecorate with their own personal flair. But either way, the living room has lots of potential. With plenty of space and a plethora of large windows bringing in tons of natural light, this space is perfect for welcoming guests. We, we have a regular group of friends that we've been having now mm -hmm. the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. Barack and Michelle Obama, along with their daughters, Sasha and Malia Obama, are a tight-knit family. In a December 2016 interview, Michelle Obama told People that her husband's presidency helped the family bond even more. She explained, It's definitely brought us closer. It wasn't until the White House that we were together seven days a week, that we could have dinner together. He had time to coach the girls' teams and go to all their events. So it makes perfect sense that the family would look for a Martha's Vineyard estate that has plenty of great living spaces in which they can spend even more quality time together. Of course, the estate boasts a formal living room, multiple sitting rooms and a dining room, but there's also a more casual family room that's perfect for family fun nights. The laid-back space has a big fireplace, lots of windows and warm wood floors that give the room a homely feel. In the estate's listing photos, the space is pictured with a pool table, which, if it remains, the Obamas are sure to enjoy. Even if the family decides to lose the pool table, this cozy room is perfect for family movie nights, game nights, and casual gatherings with friends and relatives. No home is complete without a kitchen, and the Obamas' new estate has one to be admired. Michelle Obama is famously known for her healthy lifestyle and nutritious eating. As Cooking Light reports, the former First Lady started focusing on making healthy meals at home after becoming concerned about the health of daughters Malia and Sasha Obama. When she started seeing a noticeable improvement in the girls' health, Michelle was determined to maintain the family's healthy eating habits. You know, we have dinner together 
It's safe to say Michelle likely spends a lot of time in the beautiful kitchen located inside the Obama's family's Martha's Vineyard home. This kitchen is a mix of classic and modern, which is the perfect aesthetic for this former first lady. Featuring clean, white tiles, sparkling countertops and new appliances, the kitchen also has some old-world charm, with wood panelling on the island, glass cabinets and classic wood flooring. And you can be sure this lavish kitchen is filled with lots of fruits and vegetables, as fresh veggies are an important part of what Michelle Obama eats in a day. She does all this and she looks cute. That's right. <laughs> In Barack and Michelle Obama's Martha's Vineyard estate, the dining room makes for a perfect gathering place. In Jodie Cantor's 2012 book, The Obamas, the author revealed that President Obama loves having dinner with his family. In fact, the book reports that he refused to let his work pull him away from dinner with his family more than twice a week. So it only makes sense that the Obamas would want a good dining space in their Martha's Vineyard home to have their nightly meals together. While formal dining rooms can feel pretty stuffy and prim, the Obamas chose a house with a dining room that departs from the grand traditional look and seems much cosier for everyday meals. This dining room is circular and pictured in the home's listing photos is a large circular dining table big enough to fit 10. Barack and Michelle Obama's gorgeous Martha's Vineyard estate boasts a master bedroom that is totally Pinterest-worthy. When President Obama was in office, he was known to work late, usually calling it quits around 11.30 each night, according to the New York Times. But these days, Obama probably enjoys more shut-eye. And what better place to get some well-deserved rest than in this stunning master suite, located inside his Martha's Vineyard home. The spacious bedroom boasts a fireplace, plush carpets, and clean white walls to give this master retreat a relaxed, cozy feel. To make the room feel even bigger, there are windows above the bed as well as full-length glass doors to provide plenty of natural light. The stunning master bathroom may be even more impressive than the bedroom, with white cabinets and grey countertops and double-sided vanity mirrors. There's even a large bathtub with a view of the yard, making this master bath both stylish and luxurious. The couple's spacious Martha's Vineyard estate may have a stunning master suite, but the guest rooms inside the home are just as gorgeous. The former first family's mansion has a total of six guest rooms, which means there's plenty of space if Sasha or Malia Obama ever want to invite their friends over for a weekend on the island. One of the rooms pictured in the home's listing is a beautiful bedroom that is so large it seems to almost rival the master bedroom. With crown moulding to give it a classic look and lots of space for a large cosy bed, this is certainly a room for the Obama daughters to fight over. Another bedroom pictured in the listing seems to be an adorable kid's room, featuring two sets of bunk beds pushed against the walls. The guest room has large windows that let in lots of natural light, in addition to providing a great view of the trees and massive yard outside. Barack and Michelle Obama's new home boasts plenty of guest rooms, but it also has several incredibly luxurious bathrooms. According to the property listing, the home has eight full baths plus one half bath. Of course, the design of these bathrooms follows the sleek but charmingly classic look of the rest of the house. The bathrooms feature glass door showers, clean white subway tiles on the walls, and silver finishings. They also have grey vanity countertops that match the master bathroom's countertops, elegant mirrors, and windows featuring beautiful outdoor views. Clearly, Barack and Michelle Obama like to vacation in style, because their estate features one breathtaking amenity in the form of a massive balcony off of the master bedroom, complete with a hot tub. Not only does this balcony boast a lot of sitting space, but it also has gorgeous views of the estate, which will make lounging in the hot tub even more luxurious. And while this space is conveniently located, it also features a staircase from the deck down the side of the home, leading down to the yard. This is extra convenient in case Barack and Michelle ever want to go from the hot tub to the pool without worrying about tracking water through the house. While the rest of the home is gorgeous all on its own, the balcony really makes this Martha's Vineyard mansion seem like the perfect place to spend the summer. 
Park and Michelle Obama's stunning new vacation home has plenty of space inside. And with 29 acres, it boasts tons of outdoor space too. For those cool evenings when the family wants to spend time in the fresh air while not giving up all the comforts of being inside, there's a screened-in porch which is perfect for relaxed evenings at home. This porch comes complete with a big stone and brick fireplace, white columns, grey tile floors and lots of room for sitting around the fire as a family. In the listing, the screened-in porch is pictured with plenty of seats around a lovely grey coffee table, making the space feel comfortable and casual. The space is in a great location too. Situated just under the master bedroom, this porch has lovely views of the vast backyard. With a view like that, it's sure to be one of the Obama's favourite spots to kick back, relax and enjoy some quality time together. The beautiful Martha's Vineyard Estate allows for plenty of outdoor activities, which is good since this family famously enjoys staying active. It's no secret that Barack Obama loves basketball. The former president played basketball back when he was in school and, according to the White House archives, even had the White House tennis courts converted into a basketball court soon after moving in. And according to the Washington Post, he's even discussed the possibility of owning an NBA team one day. So perhaps it's surprising that Obama doesn't have a basketball court on his massive Martha's Vineyard estate. However, the listing photos show a small basketball hoop on the edge of the home's pool. The pool itself is beautiful, with lots of room for a table and plenty of space for lounge chairs. Plus, there are large trees and greenery around the area to provide both privacy and shade. This is the perfect place for the Obama family to relax by the water, have a pool party or shoot some casual hoops. While Barack and Michelle Obama's entire estate is certainly lavish, perhaps one of the most extravagant features is the private beachfront with a boathouse. As seen in the listing for the property, the estate features a paved walkway from the house all the way down to the private beach, where the Obamas can relax in the sunshine, go for a swim or even hop on a private boat and sail away. The Obamas will certainly make lots of memories on the water at their lavish vacation spot check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.